Well, usually in the prelims, you know, you're hoping um, you've got that little cushion there. You've got four in the group. Uh, Belgium's a host in it. Um, and then uh, Albania uh, and Cyprus. So uh, we'd like to feel, you know, we should get through that one. Um, it's just then you go probably around about March time, could be a bit late, depends on which countries come through as to when it's played. You go through to uh, the final elite group stage where only one goes through where, where then you hopefully get to the, the final eight. So the, 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 the long route is to try and get to the European uh, 90s finals uh, where you have eight countries emerge. It's usually a, a tough competition. We got there the last couple of years. Uh, lost in the final uh, in Ukraine to the hosts and then uh, got to the semi-final uh, this summer, uh, losing to Spain, who were a very good time. You know, the interesting thing about this group is that um, you know, we won the European Championships with the under-17s in May, and half of the 19s now uh, has this group that we're fast-tracked through because we think they're a really good side, uh, keep the ball well, uh, good technically. And we th you know, think it'll be a good challenge for them to see how they can cope. You know, a lot of them are a year up. Um, so, you know, they can play uh, the following year as well. But if they do well in this group, then, you know, we have to make decisions on them for something like the under-20s or the under-21s. And uh, I think some of these are capable of going through the system pretty quick if they develop physically and, and naturally if they can get some first-team football at the clubs that they're at. So it's good to get them into a group now. Naturally, they were together for quite a spell during the 17s. And uh, now now I'll have them best part of 10 days and, and hopefully every day that they're together they get back on the same wavelength of, of keeping the ball, you know, playing it out from the back and, um, you know, the, the style really that you're going to have to develop if you're going to be successful internationally. Of course, we've got everyone sort of, uh, talking about how good Spain are at senior level and going down into youth, their youth teams, but our 17s, of course, beat Spain 2-1 in Liechtenstein to win the, the Euros back in the summer. Uh, how good was that group of players? You were there at the final and was, was impressed with them. It was a really good quality game. Uh, I think the big factor about our English group was that uh, you know, during that game and the semi-final against France, there were spells when we were under pressure, um, but we didn't panic. Everyone's really comfortable and confident with each other, so they passed the ball out in tight situations, kept the ball better than you know I've seen for a lot of English young to younger teams, uh, you know, and ended up coming out winning. The, the big fact about Spain and even France, over the, you know, they have been competing in these championships on a regular basis. The big factor this year, um, you know. We've started the last couple of years to try and get to the final stages, but this group was our best technical group, and so we've got to try and you know, hopefully get the balance that the, there's enough come through and the other players that are in the actual age group that they play well and, and keep that emphasis on keeping possession, the technical development of the side. Um, and you know, hopefully then I think there's certainly some of them that have got the ability or, or the potential to come through at a senior level. You know, that means with the 19s, the 21s, uh, and the seniors, how, how their transition depends on where they get the first team football. But what's important for us is you know, to keep that group playing and passing the way they did in May. So you know, hopefully Noel, you know, we'll be working on you know that possession game uh, and the possession style uh, that will be necessary if they do manage to progress come next summer. But the first step is to do well in Belgium, and uh, then we'll we'll take it from there.